Hey guys, today I want to show you how to make this cool looking text effect within Photoshop. It's like an icy text effect. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, open up a new document. I have mine set at 300 ppi. This is an 8.5 by 8.5 inch wide document. I'm going to hit my X key and Alt and Delete and fill the background with black. Next. I'm going to go to my text tool and type in any word that I want. And it's pretty important to choose a color other than white or black so we can see what we're doing. And I might make this font a little bigger as well. Let's center that. We'll zoom in a little bit closer. There we go. Okay. I'm going to adjust the character setting here and bring that a little closer. There we go. Back to our layers. Magic wand tool. Select that eye and create a new layer. Now, within this layer, I want to go to my brushes and choose a brush that is a tree. If you don't have any trees in your brushes, you can download them for free online. Just do a Google search. I got this one for free. And let's hit our X key again, and we want white. We want to we want to do some brush strokes in here with the color white. So that looks pretty nice. Okay, now I'm going to shrink it, and I want to open up this palette here, this brush's palette, so I could change the angle. I kind of want to go around and make, make the edges pretty frosty looking. That looks pretty cool. Okay, that looks great. Go back to our text layer, hit the W, select that C, go back to our layer 1, hit our B key again. Go around this one. Notice I'm not painting inside this eye at all because it's not selected. And that's that's why you don't want these letters touching because when you use your magic wand tool to select one letter at a time, it's going to select both letters and then your little cracks in the ice won't look as realistic. So that's why I adjusted the character settings. to move this, go around, it's looking good. Make it large again. Maybe that's a little too large. That's way too large. Way too white. So that is too. In that case, we can lower the opacity here. Give it a, there we go. Same thing, one last letter. I think you guys are getting it now. Select, go back to this layer, brush tool. Do the big cracks first. That does not look realistic. There we go. Shrink the brush down. Go around the edges. It gets a little tricky in here. You have to shrink the brush down quite a bit. Okay, shrink it down. I don't want that tree trunk in there. Here we go. Almost done. 
Okay, good enough. Deselect it. We can close this now, we're done with that. All right, let's go back to this text layer and give it an inner glow. And with the inner glow, we can change the color to, to a blue, a light blue to make it real frosty looking. I forgot to do one really important thing. And this is where it starts to get cool looking. I want to lower the fill. I'll go back to this inner glow and double click on it. Let's there we go, and now we're making it look nice and frosty. Let me lower this a little bit. Okay. Looks pretty good. There we go. So, most of the effect is done. Now we want to put some snow on it. Let's make a new layer. Go back to our brush. And let's just do a regular round heart. Hard brush, pretty hard brush. We can go maybe 80%. And I want to double click on my shape dynamics here. And I'm going to mess around with the shapes here and the brush tip size and the spacing. And when I get the settings that I want, I'm going to I'm going to show you guys. Okay, so you can go ahead and look at my my settings here. Um, I put the size jitter at about 68% so that my snowflakes are all different sizes. Minimum diameter about right there. It's about the smallest I want. Angled jitter, roundness jitter, so their snowflakes are still pretty round otherwise they become too oval. And minimum roundness looks good about right there. Okay. So we want the snow to be white, of course, and we want to do this on a new layer. Just go ahead. Make sure your opacity is about 59%, between 50 and 60%. Just go ahead and start making some snow on top of here. You can make your brush smaller. Put little drips if you want. a pretty cool effect. A little larger. Okay. So you're getting the idea. And I'm going to put some snow down here as well. So while I work on that, for the sake of time here, I'm going to pause it and then I'll be right back. Okay. So as you probably found out, that takes the longest time to do because of the opacity of the snow that you're making and the number of times that you need to click. So you're pretty much done here. One last thing that you can do to make it look a little cooler is combine these layers into a group duplicate them, control T, right click, flip vertical, hold shift, drag down, about right there, check mark, add a mask to that group, gradient, black and white, black's going to fade it out, Click in the middle, hold shift down, drag up. If that looks too dark to you, you can do it over. Drag it up a little higher. You're done. Thanks for watching. I know that this is a, uh, this tutorial is on YouTube quite a few times but I couldn't find it anywhere in English, so hopefully my English was good enough that everybody that speaks English can understand. Thanks and happy holidays. Bye.